Libra, welcome to your December 2017 love reading. It's Rena here. Shuffling the cards, as usual. And as I shuffle the cards, I want to make you aware of um, the fact that I'm offering all of my readings for 20% off in November and December of 2017 with the coupon code JUPITER. Wasn't that clever of me? So, uh, the information is below, the link to my website. And, um, yeah. And so, can you hear me shuffling these cards? Okay, and then I'm going to go like this. And I just pick cards. Yeah, I'm going to have to repeat this for you as well. I did get somebody who said that the reading that I did last month was more for um, couples. And I always feel bad about that because I totally can understand the frustration. But it just seems like when I do these types, maybe this particular spread, I don't know what it is, but it always leads me to think of a current relationship. So I think that I would have to devise a, a very um, particular spread for single people in order for it to really yield the same, the, the results that, that we would want. I actually did a series on Vimeo uh, called Ready for Love. This was a few months ago. And it was for people who were looking for a new relationship. So I might try to do something like that again in you know the next couple of months. I'll let you know if I do something along those lines. But I just, I don't know. Because <laughs> I'm looking at these cards and it sounds like the typical relationship drama. Okay? The, the overall message, because this is like, okay, this is what it is what it is. Well, let me see. Let me um, rise to the occasion and see if I can think of a possible interpretation for single people. The Hermit card, as the central theme here, is something that is very apart from what I associate with Librans. Usually Libras, Libran people are social butterflies, and the Hermit is somebody who is being very solitary and inward seeking not out partying but looking for the inner light looking for wisdom within themselves not within the outside world and it's also connected to Virgo so if that's somebody that has been in your life then that would um, connect to, to possibly that a person with that sign now, if you are somebody who's single, you may have been alone for a long time and someone came into your life who um, kind of like made you believe in love again. This is about hope restored. And yet now you're feeling totally differently. This is uh, connected to Aquarius, by the way. So that's a fellow, that's a fellow air sign. So um, some of you may have been alone for a long time even, and uh, met somebody who kind of like, maybe you thought I'll never marry again, I'll never fall in love again. You could have lost your partner to death even. And we're just in that that kind of a hermit mode. Didn't want to get involved with anyone. And now you have. But this card suggests defensive posture. So getting involved with someone who turned out not to be what you thought. Okay. And so whether or not this is... Um, 
I have to think that you are in some sort of relationship because the higher message is that you actually feel a sense of oppression. Um, the other thing, too, I, I should say for people who are single, is that the, the, the star card might have been a past love. Because it is in the past position. Maybe you were in love with an Aquarius or somebody who has a rising sign of Aquarius. And they have that free spirit and, um, and aren't with them any longer. And um, now you feel this, you've been alone so long, you feel kind of like uh, insecure uh, with relationships. Maybe that person let you down. And you felt a loss of self-esteem, and now uh, you're kind of like um, keeping people at bay with a certain defensive attitude. And so the higher message is like being trapped by your own thoughts. You are swords. All the air signs are swords, and that connects to communication, but also your thoughts. And this person is bound and blindfolded and it's really because of their own limited limited beliefs that are keeping them in um, this position of uh, defensiveness and a lot of times it can be self-esteem issues um, even look there's more swords what crosses you is the Page of Swords. Now, this could be an Aquarius person who is really a, uh, a negative influence on your life. And if so, this is just reiterating that. But the Page of Swords can indicate like a paranoid nature, someone who assumes the worst. And the, a lot of times when people are like that, they don't really understand that they have low self-esteem. They perceive the world as a hostile place. And they think that these things are really happening to them. But it's really their own way of looking at life that is creating that defensiveness. You know, have you ever talked to someone and you say something innocent and they snap at you and they twist what you said um, and they try to make it like you were insulting them and you weren't insulting them at all. Well, the Page of Swords could be you being in this position because you feel um, constantly under attack and, and yet it's you doing it to yourself. But why are you doing it? Well, there are different reasons why. There might be unresolved grief if you did lose somebody. You may be very angry about that loss. And instead of dealing with it yourself, you're kind of like lashing out and uh, assuming that other people are doing things. Now, this could also be that you're dealing with a person who's very immature um, and even downright paranoid themselves and they are trying to get they're, they're kind of getting inside your head manipulating you mentally and and you may feel like you know crazy making and that could be what this is saying crazy making like like you can't you don't it, it's like um they're convincing you of things that aren't true maybe they're accusing you of doing things that you didn't do and yet you feel like compelled to defend yourself. Yeah, that could definitely be what's happening. And <clears throat> some, there are people out here who are very, um, I was going to say manipulative, but there's another word that means like that, um, yeah, maybe even like a borderline personality where they are really... Uh, always on the offensive and they um, 
play with people's minds. They get inside people's heads and get them to believe things that are totally untrue. And that's, the, that's how they um, gain power over people. The advice or what is coming in is, is represented by the, uh, the Knight of Pentacles. This may simply be that if you happen um, to be, uh, to live with this person, you may just like have to uh, lose yourself in your work and, and maybe you need to save money so that you can leave. Because uh, this is a card of somebody who's really on a goal of saving a lot of money. So they're working hard. Um, maybe you, you, you want to work overtime just to have an excuse not to be there. So it's like it serves a double purpose, a dual purpose of getting you away from this person, but also helping you to, to make money as quickly as possible. In some cases, it could be meeting somebody who is, who represents that work ethic. And this card is actually connected to Taurus. But the other earth signs are Virgo and Capricorn. As I said, the Hermit card connects to Capricorn, I mean to, to Virgo. So if that person already was in the picture and then um, you're dealing with some, someone else, maybe an Aquarius person who has kind of like really um, gotten inside your head, this person may be right there to, to help you in some way. Or just knowing that they're there is, uh, uh, gives you a sense of comfort. And then the outcome is uh, the King of Cups. And this is a mature male. Could be a, a, a water sign person. So um, if this is the same person as this, they may have earth and water prominent in their chart. And the water signs are Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But this is a person who's emotionally mature. This is a person who is... Uh, psychologically immature and therefore when I say psychologically you could talk about their emotions too but they may not be in touch with their emotions this person is compassionate it could mean that you're going to see a, a, a counselor however or your pastor or your priest and gain some kind of um, comfort from them because if you're feeling very very oppressed you may need to talk to somebody but if this is somebody that you meet it's going to be somebody who um, is a stark contrast from that page of swords so i hope that you like this and resonated with this libra and i wish you all the best in december bye